Hello. Hello, IMC family. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, family. Welcome, family. You probably noticed I'm in the Live Your Best Life set right now. <laughs> Welcome to Live Your Best Life. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so I want to dive in. I'm just going to give like two seconds for everybody to just get comfortable because Holy Spirit's moving powerfully. <laughs> so I just want to pray to start with and let Holy Spirit be come and have his way, right? And be God in the midst of us. So get comfy, open your heart wide to Jesus. He's taking us on a journey today. We are going to get freedom more freedom, more freedom, deeper still. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Who are you ready to go? <laughs> Should we do the deep dive? Whoa, go in. Deeper still. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We thank you that, yeah, come and be God in the midst of us. Thank you for your presence within us and surrounding us. Thank you for every one of my brothers and sisters. Who Holy Spirit receiving you today deeply within themselves, feeling you moving, experiencing you moving all over again, experiencing even more sensitivity to your presence, to your truth. We thank you for encounters with you, Jesus, today. We agree with your heart for a set fresh sensitivity, for your enabling supernatural grace that enables us to see you and hear you and feel you and know you and open ourselves to you and to live this glorious new creation life that you have brought us into now. Thank you that you take us deeper into your truth today, who we are now in you, who you are, Jesus. Holy, 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 holy. We welcome you to take over. Come front and center in each one of us. We welcome you to take over this hour. We thank you for doing something so stunning in our lives in this next hour, Jesus. Holy, we sit ourselves at your feet. We surrender to your headship. We surrender to your presence. We surrender our circumstances. Who? Holy, 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 holy. Whoa, holy. He is moving powerfully already. I can feel him like power. He's just in waves of power, waves of liberating power, delivering power. The fruit of who he is, right? Whereas that when the king is present and we're tuned back in in our awareness, whoa, 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 when we, we're in receive mode, you know, wow, freedom, freedom is your portion. He's saying freedom is your portion, freedom is your portion, freedom, 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 freedom to soar with him, freedom to soar, freedom to soar today, freedom to soar. Who untangling, untangling from the things that have held you captive or the things that have held you too much earthbound, you know, in limited perspective and limited ability, freedom to soar today, freedom to soar, freedom to soar, freedom to heal, to receive healing, body, soul, whatever, wherever you need healing, right, where he's pouring out already, he's pouring out already, holy, 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 just, just keep surrendering to him, this is, this is a the central thing that he's doing with us today. This is the message, the most recent encounter I've had with him. Holy, 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 holy. It's just the bringing us back, resetting us into that core posture of heart, which is surrender, holy, yieldedness, humility, different words to describe the same thing, the posture of the heart, which recognizes that he is God. He is God. He's in charge. He's large. <laughs> He's very good at being God. He is our source, right, of life and truth. Like Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, the life. He is the life. He is resurrection life. He is eternal life. He is life that touches us and swallows up death in all its forms, degeneration, decay, sickness, lack, 
living in senses of separation, senses of orphan bereftness. Holy, 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 holy. He's gathering us back in his arms. He's I can see him releasing his arms, extending his arms around each one of us, around you and then pulling you freshly into a fresh embrace with him where oh, literally like squeezing you. I can see him doing this right now. He's squeezing each one of us into a fresh embrace where his presence just envelops us and fills us and saturates through us again releasing light and life, light and life, light and life. You know, humility of heart, which enables us to recognize again and be able to sit in that brilliant, liberating place of recognizing our full dependence on him, and that's the place of freedom, right? As we sit, and that's the place of true inner rest, when our hearts truly, and we're, we're, we're awakening into this more and more, right? We are growing in this capacity that he has placed within us because he's now within us. So this core posture of the heart, which is the ability to, like I said, recognize our full dependency on him, that we're living our life truly, really, on the inside before an audience of one, that he is our source and he's our power and he's the beauty of the new, of the divine nature, that now our nature, right, is new creation nature. As we as we sit in this place, and he's going to freshly sit us in this place today, like even, even deeper. When we do this, our interior life goes still. And when you and it, it's a place where fear is swallowed up on the inside and all the other different expressions of our life that come when fear is manipulating our hearts. It just it enables us to walk like Jesus walked, you know, because he was in complete yieldedness, surrender and reliance on the Father. Like he said, you know, when he he went about doing the father's business and he said over and over in the scriptures, right? These are not my words. They're the words of the father that I'm speaking. You know, essentially over and over, you find it. He humbled himself and came here. He humbled himself and went to the cross. He, you know, everything was his whole life modeled for us, exemplified for us. The um, new creation life how we how we live successfully in the kingdom it's essentially in the core of our being it's about surrender trust yieldedness i mean we use all these different words to describe the same thing it's a posture of the heart that's now freshly empowered to trust to trust him with everything all the time and to yield so that his life through us, just like with Jesus, begins to flow through us, to be the expression that comes through as holy, 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 holy. Jesus was clothed in humility, was humble of heart, meaning trusting fully in the Father and revealed the divine nature. So as we walk like that, following in the footsteps of Jesus, now partakers of the divine nature, living from our union on the inside, we too just simply live clothed in humility, revealing the divine nature. And that's what swallows up death and darkness. That's because he is the light. He is life. And the more we walk like this simply in the posture of surrender on the inside, right? It's just amazing. <laughs> we yield, we trust, we enter into the rest of God through surrender. And his life flows through us. It doesn't mean the abdication of responsibility and that we just stop and never do anything. It's just that internal posture of the heart right where we're tuned into our union we're living from the strength of our union and we do that
by living internally, recognizing that he is the source, he is the head, he is faithful. And this is the place, like I said, this is where fear dissolves. I'm just going to, my. I hope you can, can you hear me okay? Is there interference on the sound? No? Okay, good, good, good. So yes, so we we surrender and we yield to the supremacy of his headship moment by moment, situation by situation, sometimes just delighting ourselves in the Lord. Holy Spirit, enjoying him, trusting him, leaning into him. Sometimes it's in the middle of a battle, right? But this is also how curses are removed from our lives, gossip and slander and judgment and warfare and stuff that's demonically energized that travels through other people's speech and you just honestly if you're in a storm if you're in a storm of warfare if you're in a storm of fear if you're in a storm of just difficulty you know people slandering you or judging you or the stuff that happens in life whatever it is the fastest way to deal with it is just Move into humility on the inside. Just move back internally. Don't fight. Don't get pulled out into the drama of it. Just go low. low. Just go low. Just yield to the supremacy of his headship on the inside, trusting that he's extremely capable of being God and expressing divine nature through your life as you simply submit, tune back in and allow his life to move through you dissolving away what's internally problematic and then flowing through you to deal what's externally problematic. You are lying on the inside, again, with divine nature when you do this. So the manifestation of your life is fruitful, right? The fruit of Jesus. We're going to go into that more and more in a minute. But um, this is his heart for us. This is the, this is his passion that we would become freshly aware and and reset ourselves on the inside into this posture and it's the fastest way into freedom it's how jesus walked right it's how he walked and he's in the earth if you study his life and we do what he does in union with him now supernaturally empowered to live like that as a new creation we will see the fruitfulness flowing from us and fruitfulness around our life because we're living in step with Jesus we're living from our union we're internally spiritually regulating ourselves this way to be able simplifying on the inside to live from rest and to be able to exhibit the divine nature which is also the powerful weapons of our warfare right <laughs> love is a powerful weapon. Peace is a powerful weapon. Joy is a powerful weapon. Patience is a powerful weapon. Because these are all, right, the attributes of the nature of Jesus. And we reset ourselves through that posture of the heart of humility, which is, you are God, and I am fully dependent on you. And in order for me to manifest my authentic design, and for your life to flow through me and for me to speak your words and release your heart and release your love in every given situation and to move victoriously. I need to acknowledge my full dependence on you, which is what Jesus did. <laughs> like he said, the, you know, the miracles, the signs, the wonders, the deliverance, the power that manifests from his life, holy, the wisdom that came out of his mouth, everything that he spoke, Everything that he did was the Father, divine nature, revealing the Father, revealing himself through Jesus, through the person of Jesus, God, revealing himself through the person of Jesus on earth and showing us the glorious new creation life that has been secured for us by Jesus, right? But the way into it all as we all know, this, this is what's strongly on the Lord's heart to reset us into this place of simplicity and power. This is how we walk. And we're going to go deep. I'm going to read some scriptures in a second. And then we'll engage. We'll just engage. Holy Spirit, this is how we walk successfully. 
through humility. It's not, humility's not um, like having a negative attitude towards ourselves, like looking at ourselves as inferior and all this kind of stuff. That's religion. It's, it, it's acknowledging that we are entirely dependent on him for our very breath, our very life, the beauty that flows through our life. Our true core nature now is God, is him is the one who is love. And it's very easy to know when we've gone, we've, we're sort of out of sync on the inside because we're just, you can you can assess your the, the health of your interior life by the fruit that's exhibiting from you. You know, is it, in, is it in step with the divine nature? Is it the fruit of the spirit? Is fruitfulness streaming from your life because of your union with him? And if it's not, no condemnation. We're learning how to walk the victorious life that Jesus secured from us, for us at the cross through our union, through our relationship with him. We're learning, right? We're learning how to do it. So it's, it's not a condemnatory thing. You don't need to go into sort of six months of introspection. You know, to me, you just literally reset. Oh, I'm not trusting you. Where am I not trusting you? Where am I not yielded? How have I, where have I desensitized and gone into a sensation of separateness and distance? Where am I back in my own strength? struggling and striving where do I so you this just go back humility surrender and the, honestly one of the fastest ways to do it is to engage the word or just worship just worship just worship him and just be on like we know you know he's closer than our breath right he's there within us we are each his home now we are the temple of the holy spirit and you just do this interior walk in peace and gentleness and authenticity of relationship with him. Jesus, help me, you know, help me, help me to sensitize. Just quicken me, Holy Spirit, when I'm out of step with you, when I'm not trusting you. This is the fastest way out of conflict. It's the fastest way out of warfare. It's the fastest way to disentangle yourself from other um, effects things that would want to impact, influence, manipulate, control, shape, have voice in your life. Love is the strongest force. Love never fails. God is love, right? He is love. And he's very serious about swallowing up every aspect of death. He's, he wants us completely out from the influence of the old way of life and there's an, the, the bride is rising quickly now you all know this he is causing us to rise strong through yieldedness through humility who holy spirit you're amazing you're amazing to live in freedom to live victoriously to live in new creation life Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, and our life in him becomes so visible. The more we trust him, the more we're yielded, the more other people will see him. They will see Christ in us because our eyes are just on him, right? We've fully aligned internally into the source of life. Holy. You can disentangle from complexity in your life in a second through this. And the more we practice it, the faster it happens, the faster you resensitize and you feel the flow. Because we just set, we're just resetting ourselves back into receive mode, looking at the beauty of who he is on the inside and receiving that Holy Spirit fruitful like the scripture says you know one of my favorites as you all know fruitfulness streams from our life as we live in union with him meaning the divine nature that we are now a partaker of begins to manifest from our life this is the john 15 life he's divine we're the branches the fruit just happens as we just become our authentic self we abide from the central power source of union, knowing 
that we're not the source. <laughs> we don't have to be God in our life. That's not our created design. We get the massive privilege of being able to co-reign with him, to walk in power and authority, right? in the earth but it's not our power and authority ultimately we're not the source of it right we're not the source of zoe life of god of divine life we are a partaker of it we are a recipient of it we're one with him in it we get the privilege of being able to release him here like jesus did but jesus knew source was father and so he just yielded so their partnership, they could enjoy each other and have a blast together, releasing divine life everywhere and restoring their beloved creation back person by person, moment by moment, <sighs> releasing the unlimited life, which is every life, which is abundant life, which is God through us. And you can see it. Just honestly, I encourage you to study Jesus. Just take some time and study again who he is. And many of you will be. But study his life, how he walked, how he walked. The simplicity. Clothed in humility. Filled with power. Radiant. Full of love. You can test prophetic words. You can test utterances come, that come from our spirit against his nature you can test when people release true prophetic words to you true, true words of knowledge to you when people are of the right spirit they look like him right this it's you feel liberated and empowered you receive freedom and healing and hope rises inside of you and your spirit dances and witnesses it's confirming He's speaking the truth and the truth sets us free. When the one who is truth speaks one to the other, there's liberty, there's freedom, there's empowerment, there's life. You're so amazing, Jesus. You're so amazing. So, okay, so let's um, do a time to, oh my gosh. Okay, we need like three hours at least. So Holy Spirit, go, take us where you want us to fully go. So a couple of days ago, I was sitting on the floor and um, Jesus came to me and he was sitting with me on the floor for a while. He came to me in the spirit and he was dressed. I'm going to read some of the what he breathed into my spirit as understanding. So he came in front of me and he knelt down and he was you know, as our beautiful shepherd king, when he comes in gentleness. I mean, there's, however he reveals himself to us, whether it's gentleness or kindness or patience or love or he, however it is, there's always power emitting from him to change us, right? And so that was what was happening. So he, and I knew it was for the bride. I was obviously receiving the, you know, massive um, benefit real time and change happening from the encounter but I was just immersed in him as he came close in his presence like filled me again and enveloped me so just as I'm sharing begin to engage this for yourself listen with your heart to what Jesus is now beginning to say to you and infuse into you so as he walked towards me and he knelt down he was so gentle and he was carrying brown robes the robe that he wore, while, they were representative of the robe that he wore while he was on the earth. And immediately I understood in my spirit, they were robes of humility. This was the clothing of the heart of Jesus when he walked in the earth, right? He, this was his posture. And so they were saturated in anointing oil in which I again I immediately just began to understand was the enabling empowerment for us to walk as he walked because of course we're one with him now his spirit his spirit is inside of us and he's teaching us the ways of his heart so we can walk more and more effectively more and more aligned rather than 
sometimes in soul, sometimes in spirit. This is what the, where the bride is rising quickly now. It's like the, the, he's, there's a different level of grace he seems to be releasing at the moment to completely align us in our interior life into our new creation experience as a consistent experience. And, and this is one of the massive empowering resets and keys that he's releasing right now. He, he's everything of the old that has was dealt with at the cross. It's like the, the record of it, the residue of it. It's just being engulfed in light. He's, he's just swallowing everything else up. He's just removing it and bringing us into an, an expression of ourselves that is just so, and an ability to walk with him in oneness, in our partnership with him. And it's it, it just, for me, it feels like it, it's unprecedented. I mean, people have done this down the centuries, but it feels like he's resetting us to how the early church lived, you know, what they understood, why they were in such ecstatic joy, moving in such power because they'd had a complete identity shift and they got it. You know, and we obviously have lost a lot down the years through translation, inaccuracy and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know, and go through all of that now. But it's like he's he's restoring that's which has been lost. He's restoring. He's bringing us forth into such a place of like just one with him, one with him in the ways of his heart and how he did life, how he does life, how he did life when he worked, walked the earth and how he's continuing same Jesus inside of us by his spirit right now, continuing to do, do life through us as Holy Spirit, spirit of Jesus inside of us is leading us into all truth. This is what he's doing. He's bringing us forth in the ways of his heart to live exactly as he lives, perfected image, perfected an image in nature and ways, manifesting his glory filled with his wisdom, Cl hearts clothed in humility, graced to completely, consistently trust him, seeing more and more who he is, who he is. Jesus showed me a while ago that the spirit of the awe of God would be one of our tutors, you know, in this time where we see him in his glory and our hearts are just graced. And I believe he's doing that again now. We just stripped away, you know, of, of all the stuff that hinders our walk because we have divine perspective, because we have a little bit more glimpse of who he is as the king of glory the majestic one the all-powerful one the all-beautiful one the king of glory the king of glory and we simply truly as we yield on the inside and we sit in this posture by his grace you will find yourself untangling from the things of this world so quickly, the things that have wounded you. This is where trauma leaves. This is where healing flows. This is where demonic flee. This is where you're unoffendable. This is where the things of this world grow strangely dim, to use the lyrics of that famous hymn, in the light of his glory and grace. You see, you're living internally more than ever before an audience of one who is the king, who is the creator and source of life and our hearts can see him more clearly. And so this, this happens increasingly as we keep choosing to walk in humility and we start to love as he loves more and more and we see people through the eyes of his heart and we see life because we're living according in step with his heart one with his heart seeing people clearly we stop risk managing people we stop living from fear we stop we stop living in our own strength more and more and more we're just liberated to love to love because we're trusting him trusting him and we see fat power flowing through our lives and we see liberty coming to other people through our lives more and more healing coming hope 
being restored, truth flowing from us, wisdom flowing from us. We give, the more we live like this, the more we give the gift of who he is to others. <clears throat> we truly love with no agenda. <clears throat> no agenda. Our hearts needs met. So we're liberated to love. We don't need to be recognized. We don't need to be validated. We don't need to be significant in the eyes of others. We just live before him, right? Jesus went about doing good, overflowing with the love of the Father, and his concern was the Father, right? He looked at the Lord, he, at the Father. He was yielded and submitted, and life continued to pour out. And he was one in heart, one in mind with the Father, and he expressed divine nature everywhere, and it restored everything, restored everybody. And that, can you imagine, as we learn to live this way, in our billions, I mean, even us in our IMC family, you know, we, he took 12 and they changed the world. <laughs> Can you imagine the light is shining? He is right. We are rising and shining. And this is one of the main ways to continue to internally spiritually regulate, to live in our authentic design and release divine life, release our authentic life in him now which is redemptive power. Holy, 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 holy. He's so glorious. He's so glorious. So he came, he released the robes of humility to me. And also he showed me that he was freshly clothing our feet with the shoes, the sandals that he also walked. And of course that represents the humility of heart that he lived in, that we now receive by grace, and we walk the walk that he walked, that he's enabling by grace and because he's inside of us. And simply he is released as we yield, as we surrender, as we look at him with hearts full of humility, acknowledging you are source, you are life. And I yield to you as your body, right? your body. We are the body of Christ. We are the feet of Jesus on the earth. We are his body. We are his temple. These truths are so massive, right? They're massive. And he's blasting them off in us at the moment, the truth, the power that's contained in the truth, that revelation power, that revelation light. He's just like exploding through us at the moment and shifting us. Holy Spirit, this is the posture through which power flows. So just before I begin to read the scripture, holy, just want us to take a moment and respond. So just receive, receive this fresh empowerment, this fresh supernatural grace to reset internally into an attitude a heart attitude of humility. Just receive your garment of humility. He's already filled us with himself, and this is the core of who he is. And he's saying today, by grace, receive this afresh. Let him dispense himself within you afresh, mm -hmm. because he wants all of us walking in our own unique expressions, but he's wanting all of us to walk as he did. He did meaning manifesting divine nature through living in a heart posture of total surrender and humility, able to trust, able to trust. And like I said, this is where we can enter into the rest of God, the rest, the rest, because we trust. We only come out into anxiety and fear and overwhelm and stress when our hearts are bullied and pushed around and traumatized and hurt and believing lies when we don't trust in those moments, right? We don't trust. And again, it's not condemnatory. This is the learning, the life, learning to live our new life. We're learning like little ones. You know, you get born and you you learn to walk, you learn to, you know, feed yourself and you learn to walk and you learn to run and then you get a little bit more sophisticated and it, it's the process. We are who we are. 
and we're learning. We're incrementally awakening. We're being incrementally led into all truth by Holy Spirit so that we can express fully now in this hour, which is what Holy Spirit's been saying, which is the time of the bride shining, the time of the huios sons, the mature sons who inherit everything that the Father has and is able to reveal maturely, beautifully, to manifest the fruit of the nature of Christ. It's our authentic life everywhere we are, everywhere we go. Holy Spirit, you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. So there's a scripture I want to read, which is just another epic scripture, one of my favorites. So this is the This is one of the hows we live. You know, I love all the hows. I like the, the keys for us. This is one of the, how do we live the new creation life? Obviously, what I've just been sharing, you know, the, the posture of humility. We just, yeah. Hoo, 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 hoo. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you can see him just dropping over you the garment of humility and putting on your feet the shoes. Thank you, Jesus. Just going to move that. Sorry, I can hear interference on my side. So, um, one of the house scriptures, two Peter one three ten. I always get really excited when I read like John and Peter, and you know, because they were they were Jesus's physical friends, right? So I just I love it. I mean, I love all the scripture, and I love Paul, as you know, but. Very much so, very much so, because he was teaching his kingdom life that um, res from the place of meeting the resurrected king of glory. Um, but I just love it. I just think, gosh, they were the friends of Jesus. They walked with him. They knew him. You know, they were part of the intimate core. Just amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Clothed in humility manifesting divine nature <laughs> that's it that's it that's the key right clothed in humility which is what jesus was and is clothed in humility fully trusting fully surrendered revealing divine life which transforms everything divine life resurrection life zoe life unkillable life source of life is in you and me and we're just learning what this means <laughs> and how to access it in every situation jesus the other thing that happens here is the more we see the lord this way as we choose to trust as we choose to and I'll say it differently, as we choose to operate in humility, so we're recognizing him as source, it activates an increased capacity to trust and rest. And it also releases purity of heart. And it's the pure in heart that see God. So this cycle enables us to live in increasing awareness and visibility, going about our father's business. This is the way. This is the way. We're followers of Jesus, right? What we see in him what we do, as we do what he did, then we will see the same fruit. It's not complicated. It's not complicated. Religion makes everything complicated. It gets so complicated. You don't have to spend years and years repenting of everything and everything and everything and everything. You just simply break agreement with lies by becoming immersed in truth, in the one who is the truth, who is the truth. Holy, 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 just staying, staying. That's all repentance is. It's just coming back to our right mind, right? Just staying in agreement, staying in agreement, staying in agreement. Holy. So listen to this. So this is the how, one of the hows. This is reading uh, two, yeah, 2 Peter 1, 3 through 10. Everything we could ever need. This is amazing. Everything we could ever need for life and godliness has already been deposited in us by his divine power. 
<laughs> so it's about continually resetting ourselves to receive by trusting. And that's what's going on inside our hearts. When we're doing that, we're surrendering again. We're clothing our hearts in humility and we're receiving. So it's all within. It's all within. We don't have to wait for it one day in the future to pop out of the ether for us. This is the divine life is fully in us. Everything we could ever need for life and godliness has already been deposited in us by his divine power. For all this was lavished upon us through the rich experience of knowing him who has called us. That can also be translated as experiencing him. Knowing him who has called us by name and invited us to come to him through a glorious manifestation of his goodness. As a result of this, he has given you magnificent promises that are beyond all price, so that through the power of these tremendous promises, you can experience partnership with the divine nature. New creation life partnership with the divine nature, by which you have escaped the corrupt desires that are of the world. The power over the corrupt desires of the world, the corrupt nature, is to abide in the nature of Christ within us now. Okay, so we're going to go deeper into just reminding ourselves how we do this. So, and, and here's a one of how you do this. So the next verse down says, so devote yourselves to lavishly supplementing your faith. So you start with your faith and then all these things are added. So devote yourselves to lavishly supplementing your faith with goodness. So remember, this is all, all inside you. This is all the nature of Christ with goodness. And to goodness, add understanding. And to understanding, add the strength of self-control. And to self-control, add patient endurance. And to patient endurance, add godliness. And to godliness, add mercy towards your brothers and sisters. And to mercy towards others, add unending love, unending love. So we have within us, in the core of our new nature now, the capacity to have limitless love flowing out of us all the time. The supernatural love that we see exhibited in the person of Christ is the flow of life that comes from the center of our being now all the time. As we receive from the deposit of Christ within us through faith. Just clothed in humility, sitting down on the inside. No matter how much your soul's freaking out, you simplify into this. You just choose, and we all have capacity to do that. And even that's been supernaturally empowered anyway, right? It's Holy Spirit moving inside us, enabling us, enabling us. And all we just, we just desire, we just, I want that, I want that. And Holy Spirit's like, yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> Begins to move through us again. So we, that is our design. So we add, we move in mercy towards all our brothers and sisters all the time, right? This is, this is the desire of the new creation life. This is the desire of Jesus for us to live all the time in mercy, all the time in humility, all the time blasting people with love. <laughs> all the time. Since these virtues are already planted deep within you, possess them in abundant supply. Isn't that brilliant? Isn't that brilliant? Since these virtues are already planted deep within you, possess them in abundant supply. They will keep you from being inactive or fruitless in your pursuit of knowing Jesus Christ more intimately. But if anyone lacks these things, he is blind. 
you're temporarily not able to see the truth again. Constantly closing his eyes to the mysteries of our faith. Christ in us. That's the mystery of our faith. Christ in us. Holy Spirit. I'm just going to read that again. That's just, there's so much power on that. Since these virtues are already planted deep within you, holy, possess them in abundant supply. They will keep you from being inactive or fruitless in your pursuit of knowing Jesus Christ more intimately. But if anyone lacks these things, he is blind, constantly closing his eyes to the mystery of our faith, the mystery of our faith being Christ in us, and forgetting his or her innocence, for his or her past sins have been washed away. Remember this, I'm just drawing in a little bit of other scripture here from Romans, sin is a dethroned monarch. You are now governed by the reign of the grace of God. You are free, able to live daily in union with our Lord Jesus. For this reason, beloved ones, be eager to confirm and validate that God has invited you to salvation and claimed you as his own. If you do these things, get this verse, you will never stumble. You will never stumble. This is the way to the never stumbling life. This is the way to living a new creation life victoriously. The key, lavishly, lavishingly supplementing your faith with the virtues of Christ, living from your divine nature, trusting Jesus, trusting the Father, clothed with humility on the inside sitting in that posture of trust in every situation. And you'll see it. I mean, you know this. If you're facing something that's really intense, this is the place where you, this, the power of who he is begins to break in as you choose this way of living. This is new creation living. I'm just going to read a blend and then we're going to go deeper. We're going to go deeper and we're going to entangle for the last 10 minutes into the fruit of the spirit, into the nature of Christ again. I'm going to go in and lavishly add the nature of Christ all over again to our faith. So Galatians 5, 16, 18, 22, and 23, power, power, power scriptures. As you yield freely, this is what this is all about, and fully to the dynamic life and power of ho the Holy Spirit, you will abandon the cravings of your self-life. When you are brought into the full freedom of the spirit of grace, that's what he's releasing again, the spirit of grace, he's releasing fresh grace, fresh supernatural empowerment to live a supernatural life, new creation life. When you are brought into the full freedom of the spirit of grace, you will no longer be living under the domination of the law but soaring above it. So this is the place of freedom from religious law, from the sin nature. This is where you are liberated to soar. Holy Spirit, fruitfulness streaming from you as you're living in union with him, as you're trusting him. And you're receiving, you're adding to your faith the fruit of the Spirit by receiving Christ in you as your new nature and as a solution in every situation and as the power that's to exhibit from your life. This is where we come forth, family, as love, a supernatural, radiant love, walking as he walked. So what I want to do is for the last, like, last 10 minutes of our time together, is begin to engage each fruit of the nature of God described for us. And you can do this in your own time because this is the how we step in, how we freshly entangle and just begin to receive. So Galatians 5, 20 and 23. The fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you 
is divine love in all its varied expressions. So as I read these, I'm going to stop at each fruit and just begin to receive, especially if you're struggling. Give him where you're not trusting, if things are coming up and you know, I'm not in rest there. I'm not exhibiting the nature of Christ there. If you're depressed, if you're fearful, it's also, this is also the way that we untangle from self-preserving states of heart like pride, fear, pride, all the things that we we erect around our lives as a fortress of protection, right? All the different emotional, the emotional labyrinth where we're living in reaction, it all melts away, it all disentangles when we do this. And he becomes the joy you need. He becomes the peace you need. He becomes the love you need. He fills you with security of heart as you begin to experience his love for you. And then you can, you overflow to others. So just give him whatever it is, whatever, you know, just give it to him, give it to him. The, the, where you're not resting, where you're not believing, where you're struggling, where, you, where you're, you're living in your own strength. You're in a state of heart that is not rest, is not yieldedness, is not humility, is not love. You just still a little bit buffered and we all do it right this is the learning walk the learning to shine increasingly to live as shining ones exhibiting our authentic nature in full the fruit produced by holy spirit within you is divine love in all it, all its varied expressions joy that overflows Holy, 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 holy. Just embrace him with your heart's attention, spirit of Jesus within you. Open your heart wide. Just allow the revelation light to flood in of the beauty of who he is, as the one who is joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Overflowing joy. joy, the joy that will dissolve depression, hopelessness, despair, despondency, apathy, exhaustion. Ha! Ooh, 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 he's after that. -ha 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 -ha. Just receive him as joy. Thank you, Jesus. 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 He is the antidote for everything, right? He is, his nature is, his fruit is. Then saturate you. And then as you're saturated like this, you will overflow and give the gift of Christ, the gift of the person of God to others who are struggling, who are exhausted, who are in religious burnout or in emotional burnout. The solution is joy, 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 joy. The strength of Jesus, joy joy, joy, joy containing hope, freedom. You know, I've had more freedom come through being whacked with joy <laughs> over the years. <laughs> it's the fastest way to bust a religious spirit's presence, that's for sure. <laughs> they seem to just jump out the windows and you start laughing. <laughs> we thank you for your joy, Jesus, your joy that sets us free is our strength removes exhaustion he's just ah, i can see him literally as joy vitality bubbling up inside you all if you need energy you need new energy supernatural energy <sighs> thank you vitality <laughs> thank you jesus thank you for your joy thank you for your joy thank you for your joy that is within me right now who holy 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 you feel weak he's your strength he's your strength he's your strength he wants you to know him as your strength all over again ah, joy heals because he's the healer joy heals revitalizes resets <laughs>
<laughs> laughing like Father does in the presence of our enemies. He sits in the heavens and laughs at the feeble attempts of the enemy to bring about anything that can have any kind of impact on him. Ha ha, sit. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so when that laughter comes up, you know, it's his laughter is full of love. It's full of love, full of love, full of valuing, valuing each one of us. That's the other thing the Lord wants us to know our value to him and each person's value to him. So we stop defining each other by our temporal weaknesses or perceived warfare, <laughs> whatever. It's like, just get in the Lord's heart. People don't look the same from there. Life doesn't look the same from there, right? Just doesn't, just doesn't. It's all okay. He's very good at sorting his body out and bringing his all to maturity. Thank you, Jesus, for your love, for your love, for your love. Thank you for your joy. Peace that subdues. Peace that subdues. Peace, 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 peace. Like when Jesus said peace and the storm shut off in a New York second, just stopped. Whether it was empowered by demons, we don't know. But whatever, there was turbulence and the turbulence was not OK because it was very dangerous for the disciples. And he just peace, be still peace be still, released the substance of the nature of who he is into the atmosphere and it became calm, 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 calm. So if you have a storm or two going around in your life, we thank you, Jesus, for the fruit of who you are as peace, enveloping us and filling us and flooding us again as we yield to you as our very life. Who thank you for the garment of humility. Thank you for the ability by grace all over again to trust you and enter into the rest of God, into the same attitude of rest, experience of rest that is your interior life. We love you, Jesus. So thankful. So thankful. So thankful. So thankful that all that we see in your life is who we are now and how we can live now this new creation of extraordinary experience beyond our words to adequately express our gratitude lord we're so thankful so thankful i thank you lord for peace 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 flooding through my brothers and sisters we receive it we receive it we receive from you and we release the peace into storms into stormy hearts into stormy minds into stormy situations, in sto into stormy atmospheres, into stormy situations, into demonically noisy situations, into wherever there is problem, wherever things are out of supernatural homeostasis and balance and order. We thank you, Lord. Peace brings order, family. It brings order. He brings order internally and then flows through us to bring order externally. And the storms in our life stop simply by experiencing him again as the one who is peace, full of vitality, full of joy, full of peace, security of heart, knowing we don't have to do this on our own. <laughs> We're not supposed to. We're not God. <laughs> but we do carry divine nature. That is who we are now. Thank you, Jesus. Patience that endures, right? Everlasting patience. Isn't that amazing that we have the ability and we're growing into the ability to live in a non-reactionary life where we are not pulled out. We are not reacting. We are not losing it. We are not having meltdowns. We're not thrown whack back into our an, an emotional storm, but we rule. Spirit over soul, over body, everything in divine order. Is the, we are the house of God. And in the house of God, there is order. There is peace. There is love. There is joy. He is, he is filling the house. He is filling it. Thank you, Jesus. Patience that endures, you know, that patience that releases a, a kind word will shut anger down, shut it down. Patience, 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 the ability to supernaturally walk with people in very difficult situations and love them. 
love them, love them, love them without exhaustion, without burnout, without reaction, just love them, love them, love them, because he's loving them through you. Patience that endures, kindness in action, the kindness of Jesus, the kindness. We thank you for your kindness, Lord, we turn into it. Spend time in each of these as well, family. Spend time there. Sit with him. Jesus, show us who you are as kindness. Show us. Open this beautiful treasure chest of who you are up and show us your kindness. Touch us with the exquisite perfection of kindness. Show us what kindness looks like. Thank you for your kindness in our lives. Satisfy my heart with your kindness. Help me to understand you. Help me to manifest you as kindness. Let this fruit be ample. He wants all the gifts flowing through a life saturated with fruit. So the gifts operate through love, right? Everything, just a supernatural expression of who he is. Holy Spirit. So healing is motivated by the compassion of Christ, the love of Christ. We're compelled by love to touch others with kindness, to see healing flowing, to see prophecy coming straight from his heart, to release life and power to others, to bring order, to bring divine order, to bring peace, to bring hope, to bring liberation. He came to set the captives free, right? To bind up the brokenhearted, to say, today you're free, to open the prison doors, to set people out from darkness, all manner of darkness, death, decay, despondency, despair, aloneness, loneliness. This is our watch. This is what he's doing. He's saturating us with himself and teaching us to live a light. Clothed in humility, kindness in action, kindness transforms and heals people everything does every expression of jesus does because he bring the restorative power of the creator flows through that expression of his fruit of his nature thank you jesus a life full of virtue a life full of virtue everything that we see in christ visible us in us as us all that jesus is so are we in this world holy faith that prevails wow 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 like just entangle into the meaning the implication of these words faith that never stops that prevails no matter what that prevails, faith that prevails. And that faith conduits divine life into this realm, brings the impossibility into subjection to the supremacy of Jesus. Everything is to bow, right? So as you've heard me saying before, in the presence of the King, everything, 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 that is touched by the king is transformed. Everything. And we lasso it in through our faith into the presence of the one who is redemptive power to see it transformed, healed. Do you know, I've got to a point where now when I look at sickness, it's just so, it's so illogical. I just, I'm so passionate. I don't want to see anybody in the body of Christ. I'm sure we're all the same. Sick anymore. No, no, no. No sickness. No demonic bondage. No. Like, no, no, no. We are new creations in Christ, filled with God. That's the truth. Holy Spirit. So a life full of virtue, just full of virtue, God on display. Shining ones coming forth. His dream, like it says in Psalm 110, from the womb of the morning, like I was saying last week, the shining ones coming forth, filled with Zoe life. This is Zoe life, right? The attributes of Christ accessed to a heart clothed in the garment of humility, just like Jesus walked. Faith that prevails, 
gentleness of heart and strength of spirit. Gentleness of heart and strength of spirit. I'm going to finish with the end of the scripture. Never set the law above these qualities, for they are meant to be limitless, because he's limitless. Keep in mind that we who belong to Jesus, the anointed one, have already experienced crucifixion. Holy. For everything connected with our self-life was put on the cross and crucified with Messiah. It's no longer I that lives. It's no longer the Adamic nature that lives. But it's Christ that lives in me. It's Christ that lives in me. Holy. Holy. So lavishly add to your faith the attributes of Christ by sitting with him and receiving a fresh expression within, impartation within from his life to you as the solution to everything, everything. And as you're on it, I encourage you literally through the next week, just practice practice humility i trust you that's what he brought when he came to the earth and he was crucified and he rose from the grave he gave us the gift of humility of the ability to trust god to live a life of trust no longer by living by by in our own strength by sight but by faith supernaturally enabled we're supposed to be internally in complete rest, complete rest, holy, all the time. The enemy under our feet, under our feet, radiating Christ. And there's not going to be any one of us that isn't perfected in this, because this is the work of the Spirit now, unto his return, unto his return, death completely obliterated from the experience of our life in all its forms whatever only he can do it all all that that's going to look like we will see it's going to be far more glorious than i think we any of us envisage thank you jesus shining ones rising shining ones rising looking like him clothed in humility holy, holy, holy. amen amen <laughs> So I encourage you to do that. Stay in Galatians. Have some time in Galatians this week and just sit. Get to know those different aspects of who he is intimately and be saturated. Be saturated because this is who we are now. This is the authentic new creation life. Lavishly adding to our faith the virtue of Jesus is the how we do new creation living. <laughs> amen 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 oh my gosh thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus take us deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into this so that we live no other way on the inside than this holy holy and our heart never moving out from the posture of humility by grace by grace and if it does just reset yourself don't beat yourself up. <laughs> Just reset, reset, reset. Thank you, Jesus, that it's your faith in me that's dispensing this capacity inside me to trust you. I choose you. You are my head. That's it. It's not complicated. <laughs> Blood yourself through me again. And obviously, like final, final thing, any situation you're facing, any impossibility, anywhere that you're being pushed around, anything, don't go external. Just embrace the glorious Christ within as your new life and live in union with him. Just yield back to your God. I trust you. You can sort it out. And he'll give you the wisdom if you're supposed to do something, if it's a difficult situation you're facing. If not, be quiet. Just yield. Look at him. Love the king. And he'll sort it. <laughs> Enjoy your life with him. <laughs> He's much better at cleaning messes up than we are, isn't he? <laughs> and healing the sick and raising the dead and everything else. <laughs> it's him. 
So amen, amen, amen. Have an amazing week, guys. Love you all and can't wait to be with you again. Next Friday, we'll see what Jesus is going to do. Bye.